Cheda Fano, he went to races in class four, and now he's in class five. Do you have to do much like uh, after you started training? He's been a work in progress. He's had his fair share of problems back at the stable, and um, he's taking taking a bit of patching up to to get him right. He's you know he's his own worst enemy in, in that he does a lot wrong at home, which a lot of people don't don't get to see. Um, so he's he's not the easiest horse to train. But he is a horse that I've been associated with. I had I, I rode him his first couple of races in a race, and um, you know I, I, I gave my opinion that he would handle the dirt and put, put blinkers on him. And I unfortunately got suspended that day, and um, Adele picked up the ride and, and won on him. So he's he's been a horse that I've had a, a bit to do with. But it's it's very satisfying to get a horse like him to be able to put his or want to put his head out and and, and, and get a win out of him um, because as I said he's. He's a handful, but uh, he's been doing the right thing every morning. I've been on him for most of his gallops, and he's been doing the right thing, and that for me was encouraging. He's five years old now. You think uh, he will be able to bounce back? I think he's, you know, he's only had a, a, a couple of runs for me, and every single time I've been satisfied with his performances. He's, he's improved every run. Look, he's going to have to improve again now in order to, to compete in, in with this level again. But he's only won a very narrow margin, so hopefully he won't be um, heftily penalised. He still comes in with a nice light galloping weight. So a lot, you know, these races a lot depends on on the draw and and the speed of the races and how things unfold. Um, but he's a horse that handles the all weather track, and if you handle the all weather track, you're always going to be benefited to a race somewhere along the line. One of the owners is David Garcia, so you must be happy like, to win off. I, I am, you know, I've, I've done, I've had a lot of success with the Chater Syndicate and we go back a long way and uh, it's nice to be able to have afforded them uh, the opportunity of a winner and grateful that they afforded me the opportunity of training for them. Um, again, it's, 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 it's very humbling that people that I rode for have uh, afforded me the support that they have and um, it's just lovely to get another winner. Uh, talking about the track today, uh, is it favorable for the fun runners over? I would think so, you know, the, after the first couple of races it looks on speed. Um, fortunately, you're gonna, you know, it, it, it's horses that handle the track and that have got a bit of gate speed that are going to benefit from, from the track today. But uh, all in all, you know, Jim does a fantastic job on, on this track. He, he's on there 20, 22, 23 hours a day getting it to the condition it's in. So all credit to him and however it's riding, every horse will get their chance. All right, thank you. Okay. Who's Jim?